Hey everybody, uh, look at this infinite regression, yeah, I actually recorded a video yesterday which didn't end up getting used uh, because the audio quality was no good, it took me a while to get this microphone set up just, just so, just the way it needs to be to capture what I'm saying without being too loud or harsh and without being you know, overly soft and quiet and ridiculous. Anyway, uh, but yeah, started a new Minecraft world. Uh, the the whole thing is this. I, I had to um, put a new hard drive on my new computer. I think my uh, SSD from this new computer died, as SSDs can do. Um you know, people always complain like, oh, this SSD, if you look, look at SSD reviews on Amazon and you will see a lot of people being like, it only worked for a little while and then it died. And it's like, yeah, sometimes they'll do that. That's the nature of the beast, what? No unfortunately. Way. What? He finished uh, Captain Underpants. Oh, my son just finished Captain Underpants, the, the first book. Which means we have to buy him another book. Oh, these children and their reading. Anyway, let's play games. Uh, yeah, so I should, should, being the operative term, have a Borderlands video up. If not, I enjoy Borderlands. There you go. Uh, so let's play this one. Let's play Braveland. Um, full disclosure... Oh, it's updating. I see. Full disclosure, though, um, I do own this. Yes, on other platforms as well. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. On my last install of Windows, I was 100% certain that I had all of the, you know, uh, redistributables of the various... Uh, Microsoft programs and DirectXs and whatnots that are needed to make all these games work. And I was like, oh, soon, soon I'll launch a game and it won't take, you know, oh, it's ready to launch. Yeah, let's, let's play that. Why not? Why not? Made with Unity. Now, um, I've said before with other games, oh, I do need to hold up. Oh, come now. Let us reason together, saith the Lord. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that the, uh, sound level on the game is good enough. Braveland Heroes, free online duels. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, there are things that are made with Unity that are, um, good. I think very much like RPG Maker, Unity gets a bad name because you can make some very slapdash, uh, barely even a game type games with it. Uh, this is not that. That is not this. Anyway, uh, l let's play some Braveland. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna delete this uh, because let's start a new game. Let's start it on normal. You grew up in a small, f <laughs> far-off village where everyone lives a quiet and peaceful life. I love this. It's a far-off village. But, like, isn't it not far-off for me because I live there? Like, the old, if you lived here, you'd be home right now? Like, yeah. This is not far-off. Everything else is far-off. Anyway. Woe came suddenly. A ferocious gang of bandits attacked your village. Having plundered your barns and killed anyone who resisted, they disappeared into the darkness. Uh, look at this. Like, just quick note. Like, uh, this is a font. Uh, I forget what the name is. You can find it. It's, it's not very many down. If you go down a list of freely available fonts in um, your various softwares that use freely available fonts, this one you come to pretty quickly. Um... But, like, just choosing something other than Arial often makes a huge difference. Because, as we all know, Arial is a knockoff Helvetica, which makes it not quite as good. <laughs> it's fine for some applications, but...
but certainly, you know, if you want your game to have a little style, as we all know, as well you know, Le Plume de Mon Oncle, the Dingy Dangy Donkey, no, anyway, uh, but you're not one to surrender to your fate without a fight. Wearing your father's old armor, you decided to go in pursuit of the villains. See, um, like, love good use of tropes. Look, that's all it took. That's all I needed to get into the... Oh, judging by these tracks, the bandits are headed east. Let's go after them. There we go, and we're off and playing. But wait, what about 200 years of lore? Like, nah, we good. Let's just click, and here I am. Bandits, they're more like animals. We barely got away. We hid in the haystacks until they were gone. Our barns are being robbed while you were busy rolling around in the hay. Because of you, the whole village faces starvation. Oh, goodness. Yes, blame each other. We didn't think of that. What should we do now? We can still catch the bandits. Follow me. Ah, the peasants join you. Okay, and we're going to go over here, which has wolves, apparently. Uh, by the name of Gertrude, my mother. I would know who your mother was if the village was far off and small. Uh, how could we forget this forest is full of giant wolves? That's enough. A couple of hungry wolves is no match for us. Pitchforks are the ready. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, young wolf can handle the sheep, not a bull. No special abilities. So, you know, we have some RPG business. Okay, this is your unit of seven peasants. Uh, the number shows how many fighters are in the unit. You can move to highlighted cells. Uh, click on the cell and move the unit. Will do. Uh, the more fighters in a unit, the more dangerous it is. Click on an enemy to attack it. Did it. Okay, we're coming over here. We're coming for you, wolf. Wolfie. Yeah. Yay, I did it. I got some XP and the things. And look at these, you know, like solidly interesting graphics, but also very expressive. Tells you everything you needed to know. They had losses of two wolves. You had no losses. Uh, you got 20 gold as a trophy. You didn't recover any. Uh, and you got some XP. Solid. So, you know, using your knowledge of... Uh, let's talk to this guy. Oh, I'm just sitting here waiting for an ambush. Like this story. Looks like he aimlessly ran in fear and ended up in the wolf forest. Nothing of the sort. I was only luring the enemies into a trap. Haha. Picked up another peasant. The liar. Anyway. But yeah, I... You know, sometimes you... Like... Okay. Why do people rely on well-worn tropes? Uh, because well-worn tropes are an easy shortcut to knowledge is you know like you can use people's knowledge of pre-existing things to help them get into the thing that you're doing now does this have anything that's different about it yeah it's got some little different qualities all its own but it's also not too proud to use things that people already know about rpgs in general we heard rumors that your village could be robbed by bandits could it be true they took everything we had in store for the winter. They killed anyone who got in their way on the spot. How did they sneak past us? They must have traveled by night. They were well prepared. That doesn't sound good. Maybe we shouldn't pursue them. No way. They won't get away that easily. We'll help you. A few good archers can go a long way in battle. Indeed they can. We have five of them now. And look, over here are some Frito Banditos. Hey, you bunch of pitiful weaklings, empty your pockets. Oh no, it's Crook-Eyed Sam. Looks like he's been released from prison again. Keep calm. Even a whole gang of robbers cannot defeat us to arms. You want to do this the hard way? Hee hee hee. This should be interesting. Here we go. 
Yes, a peon does not shun any work, has no special abilities. A bandit, cunning robber from high and, uh, and low robes, drops coins after death. Oh, good. Sweet. Okay, so here comes a wolf. Uh, this man, yeah, uh, the unit <laughs> uh, bandits is far away, and the damage dealt to it will be weaker. The wolves are closer, they will take more damage. Uh, range units steal damage without a penalty to, oh, in a solid circle. All right, so click on the wolves, shoot wolves. How dare you, wolves. Okay, oh. That's right, I forgot that. Okay, and let's shoot this fool right here. Hey. Ooh, got him. And let's shoot him. Nicely done. There we go. That's how that gets done. Okay, so yeah, got us some things. Now, I'm curious. That's my hero, that's my squad. My squad is super, it's my super squad. Um. All right. Moving onward and upward. You discover a captive in the bandit's camp. Phew, I thought these bandits were going to kill me. Wait a minute, you're Nolan from the West Village. I've heard about your father. They say he was a good soldier. Oh, look, you're dropping in lore after I've already been playing for a bit? Yes, my father taught me a thing or two, although I often skipped out on his training sessions to go listen to the Elder's Legends. Oh, you see? You see? You don't have to tell all the story at once at the very beginning. You just drop it in piece by piece. Let it unfold. More hit, more mystery less history as they say anyway used to be a pretty good jet until i got an arrow in the knee i think i could teach your archers a useful trick oh uh, see and sometimes you can use the well-worn tropes uh to delightful effect read a little arrow in the knee it warms my little heart anyway yes raid shot aha there we go Indeed, let's go pick up this guy. Wow, let's get all that extra metal rattling. We could easily resell it. Let's go, guys. Strip these dumb skulls of everything they don't need. Your arrogance is exceeded only by the length of your beard. <laughs> what? Uh, let me shorten it for you so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, delightful. Okay. Firm hand and a magic hammer. No special abilities. Okay, you know, I'm reminded of, there is a, uh, t oh, yeah, that's right, yes, killed him immediately, oh, how dare you Thor me, um, let's see, let's move it to right here, And, oh, the special ability recharges in a few rounds. Okay. Okay, let's move to here then. Oh, definitely attack that fool. Okay. Uh, we need to... Let's see, can we do it? No, we can't do it yet. Uh, let's definitely shoot this guy. Wait, how are you not dead? I thought I had practically deaded you to death. Okay. Let's do this right on your face. Oh, don't kill my archers. Okay, I need to... Can I take that spot? I can. Um. Yeah. Hey. There 
There we go. I lost an archer. Mm. Recovery, negative eight. Trophy, 70. All right. Solid. Solid. Okay, and then I can keep going onward and upward. Yeah, I, I, get, a, I get a sense. I get a sense for the game and, and what it has. Let's go to main menu and let's exit. Uh, because, yeah, we, we see what that is. It's, you know, like, uh, there are many uh, turn-based tactical type RPGs in the world. Some of them very simple, some of them very complicated. That one's very simple um, and very effective in many ways. You know, it, it uh, uses the pre-existing knowledge that gamers are going to have of how these things sort of work to get you right into it, and you're getting into battles, you're picking up units, you're, you know, it's uh, it, it's not complicated to start with. It might get more complicated over time. As a matter of fact, I'd be disappointed if it didn't, um, but I'm sure it does, you know, can't stay at one level forever. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, a really interesting take on the genre and it's made with unity which means that it's like more than likely one guy you know couple of guys at most anyway i'm gonna pause this and uh i'll tell you what i think in a minute all right and i'm back so uh brave land really enjoy what it's bringing and um it does remind me of some fantastic tabletop ga games i have played in my time um, I do play the tabletop games and I enjoy them when they're well done. And, uh, yeah, this is like a well done tabletop game. As a matter of fact, final score wise, I get it, give it a seven out of a possible seven copies of Song of Blades and Heroes. Song of Blades and Heroes is a fantastic tabletop game. Do you own some miniatures? Let me put that another way. Do you own action figures of any sort? Do you want to pit them against each other in battle uh, using nothing but a tabletop, the miniatures themselves, uh, three different lengths of stick, and uh, a copy of the rule book? Oh, and you need 3D6s. I guess you need a few things. Uh, but yeah, who doesn't have 3D6s? Like, just go grab that copy of Yahtzee that you have that you haven't played for a hot minute you got five d6s in yahtzee pretty sure anyway but the fact is like song of blades and heroes um you know this game this is a game that has seen the very complicated uh games that are out there knows what they're bringing and they said hey uh why can't we bring something that's fun and easy to set up easy to get into and um you can learn this game honestly you can learn how to play song of blades and heroes in like five minutes you can be up and playing your first skirmish and uh yeah you you know it's uh is as nuanced as you want it to be as simple as you need it to be and it's fun it's just fun um, talk to play people who play a lot of tabletop and they'll tell you like, oh, you could play Warhammer where like just the cost of entry is ridiculous because you're buying all that, you know, really expensive stuff from the, you know, developer of the game, the publisher of the game who uh, creates all of the miniatures and makes them very expensive. You know, if you're playing Warhammer, like, you, you sinking quite a bit of money. The old joke is that it's called Warhammer 40k because 40k is how much you have to spend just to get started in the game. Uh, Song of Blades and Heroes, honestly, you know, you can pick up a tube of plastic miniatures on Amazon for eight bucks and play it with those and have a fine time. Like, have an absolutely fine time. Um, so, yeah. What I'm saying here is it doesn't have to be complicated. Fun doesn't have to be complicated. And Braveland is not complicated. Um, as far as tactical RPGs go, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, 
you know, I'm sure it brings a lot more to the table. I have looked at, you know, uh, gameplay uh, stills, not footage, but pictures of the gameplay uh, farther into the game. And yeah, it does look like it gets more complicated over time because, of course, it needs to. Like, you know, uh, in the early goings, you always outnumber the enemy by quite a bit. And, um, you know, if it ever comes down to you not outnumbering the enemy and needing to outsmart the enemy, well, that's a different matter entirely. And so, you know, I can see how I can enjoy spending a lot of time on this. Now... Uh, so I can't find anything wrong with Braveland. Can't, don't want to think it's great. Uh, is it going into my play next file? Uh, not on this and uh, not on my PC. I do own it on handheld systems and I will be playing it there because it's easy to pick up and play for a minute and, you know, and then put back down and then pick up again. And you don't have to like, Oh my God. Like, with Borderlands, I had forgotten some of the nuances of the game. And so, when I first tried recording a video of it, I got slaughtered. And uh, with Braveland, I don't see that happening. I see, you know, like, you just click on things and make it happen, you know. And then just be tactical with your unit placement. You know, pretty simple stuff if you played these kinds of games before. And if you want to play these kinds of games on an actual tabletop... Song of Blades and Heroes. Cannot recommend it highly enough. Eight bucks. Eight bucks it'll cost you for Song of Blades and Heroes. Uh, you can get PDFs from Ganesha Games. You can get it on um, Amazon as well. Braveland. Let's look at what Braveland is. Seven bucks. Oh, there's a trilogy. Oh, hey now. They have... There's a Braveland, a Braveland pirate, and a Spaceland. Oh, a Braveland wizard. Oh. Hey now. All right. I I see. I see what you're bringing to the table. All right. You have my attention. Uh yeah. Yeah. We shall see. Anyway, so fun little game. Good art style. Uh, you know, enjoy the sense of humor of, of it. Seems like it's a game that really understands what it is and what it intends to be. And, you know, it's a pick-up, put-down kind of a game. Like, how many, like, actually good pick-up, put-down RPGs do you have? Because not all of us can, like, you know, sink uh, 120 hours into, like, some vast immersive thing. Like, some of us have jobs. Some of us accidentally became grown-ups because time passed. And against our will, we grew up, you know. Anyway, regardless. Uh, so yeah, Brave Land. Enjoyed it. It's good. I, I can't find anything wrong with it, and I don't want to. Anyway, people, uh, have a fantastic one. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.